Are you ready for a scoop off? We might have ourselves an old fashioned scoop off. Guns are drawn. That's right. Uh, wow, opposing sides. Wow, wow, wow. Scoop off. We won't be in the middle of one. Scoop yep. off time. I know. Uh, so that, wow, Wiggy says, Rich Keith Rich may Keith. have to step aside. I, I heard Courtney's scoop. Or step Co- off, bruh. Coco Bomb, is that is that caught on? Is Coco, it Coco Bomb? Uh, Coco Bomb, the official, the official post uh, on the WEI social media bomb? account is it was a, uh, a Coco Bomb. All right, so Scoops Keith yes. v. Coco Bomb. Uh, hockey insider Scoops Keith and Coco, who uh, all over the place because Coco had a, a big story massive, last week about who's buying report. the Celtics. Massive report: it, uh, the yep. three finalists to buy the Boston Celtics. Yep. Yes, yep. which there's been very little reporting yep. on. Yeah. So I, but, but you're hearing differently than yes. said Coco Bob. I got a little bit of intel last night, and I was like, oh, I'm looking forward to sharing it on the show. Right? I sure. wasn't. Gonna, I wasn't going to make it about me. I wasn't going to post it last night. I was like, let me wait until the show, 10 a.m. Monday yeah. through Friday, 10 to 2. So I'm like, let me save it. Then I hear Coco this morning say that Jeremy Swayman has signed a deal with the Bruins. I almost drove off the road, Jones. Yikes. Well, you be, be, be careful you why. Yeah. I almost did. I didn't. Everybody's uh, safe. I, I, I made it in safely. The car's in front of me safely. I'd imagine people are doing the same now when they hear yeah. s- scoop off. I'm hearing careful on the roads. I'm kind of hearing the opposite. Kind of hearing yeah, I the opposite. Let's I'm tighten it up. It. I'm not hearing a deal. You're Let's right. Let's tighten right. up our wording. I'm not, there's a, there's I'm not a lot. lunch after. I'm not woes. People can, you can pick it apart. There's Scoops a lot Keith of not, loose yeah. wording out there on, and this Fair. is not Courtney. I'm not Courtney was no. very clear. No, 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 no. There's a lot of loose wording on what I would call in in uh, quotes. Yeah. Uh, reports. Yes. A lot of loose wording out there. So let's tighten up our wording here, Keith. So you saw me earlier today working the phones. Oh, you so, saw me in the back room working the phones. So many phones. So uh, I a deal has not been done, uh, from what I understand. Uh, it was is they're going to begin camp without him? Is what I also understand. Well, he is definitely yeah. not on the yeah. the the roster True. of players True. who reported. True. Uh, now look, he could always show up. Yeah. And maybe that was the leverage play for him. I'm not going to show up. And they said, ah, let's pay the guy. But, yeah, so far he has not reported. Yeah, That's maybe true. they are using it as sort of a, uh, you know, timetable or sort of like, like we're going to negotiate all up until camp. Then we want you for camp. But I don't think he's going to be there at the start of camp. I don't believe negotiations have gone great. I think clearly Jeremy Swayman and the arbitration thing from a year ago has greatly affected him. He asked for a ton of money. The Bruins didn't want to give him a ton of money. It's been a much more difficult negotiation than I'm sure the Bruins anticipated. They've gotten a lot of guys signed to pretty team-friendly deal deals in years past. Swayman doesn't seem to want to play that game. His mm-hmm. agent, famously, around the league with other teams, doesn't want to play that game. Uh, it, it doesn't... I don't think a deal is done. Now... Maybe Courtney's right. Maybe we'll find out at uh, high noon today. Maybe uh, Don Sweeney will announce it. But as of right now, I don't think a deal is done. And I also, this is also what I've been told. This is another scoop here, Jones. Oh, a second scoop. Yes. So I told you that the uh, Swayman asked for 10. Asked for or demanded? Uh, asked for. Asked for. Asked for. It's a negotiation, Jones. Mm, he didn't demand it. Right? He asked for 10. Mm, interesting. Uh, I don't believe the Bruins will go north of 8. The Bruins will not go north of no, eight. No, I don't think so. Because I've seen some... I saw a report that did say eight and a half, which I've I don't know seen... if that's... I don't believe that one either. Well, so well, there's a lot happening right I now. I would consider uh, some spotty reporting. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, maybe I'm wrong about that. But I've seen the eight and a half AAV out there. To your knowledge, right. the Bruins will not go to that number. Because I don't... I'm not going to look down on other scoops, right? Because I deal with that. In this world, I deal with that. There's a lot of... Uh, scoop shaming. Report. So, there's a, there's a lot of scoop shaming going on. So I'm on. not scoop yeah. shaming anybody. I'm no. certainly not scoop shaming... Courtney or some of those other figures that you've seen. But all I'll say is, like, Elliot Friedman or some of these guys, they haven't reported over eight million bucks, right? Or eight and a half. It was the nope. one we saw eight and a half million per year. Uh, so, as, as, to the best of my knowledge, the Bruins won't go north of eight, and a deal has not been finalized. Okay. Wow. Lot there. Yeah, I know. Lot there. And we were not aware. You, uh, you got this intel, Keith, when? Last night. Last night, yep. you got this intel, so we were not aware of uh, of Courtney's scoop. No, because I even texted you guys. I'm like, hey, I got some stuff for Swayman I tomorrow. Got, I, yeah, got, yeah. I got some scoopage, and uh, and Courtney has a scoop as well. So, look, I, uh, we are not scoop shaming. Yeah. We're, uh, we're, we're going to see who's right. Yeah, it's conflicting information. It's a scoop off. Listen, look, it's a here, scoop off. Here's what I think. Old fashioned. Here's what I think the real headline is. Yeah, what's that? I think people are coming to WEI as the the Bruin station. I think you might be right. I think I think people are talking. Bees insiders. Be, bees at uh, bees insiders. You know, people, you know people are talking. Bees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a bee problem at my house. <laughs> you know about that? That's a good point. So add that to the mix. So let me tell you. I I think people are coming to WEI as the Bruin station. I think they probably should. I think people want to yes. talk Bruins to yes. to Courtney 
People want to talk Bruins, and they have for a while to hashtag Scoops Keith. Correct. And so, look, I don't know. I am I feel like kind of stuck in the middle on this It's one, a hot Keith. topic, though. This yeah. is a hot topic. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm not going to make you choose a side, because I think I already know no, what no, side no. you're going to choose. No. But <laughs> this, is a, this is a hot topic. I mean, the Swayman thing is one of the bigger NHL stories in the across the your, sport. You're going to hear this coming up. Across uh, North America. Darren Dreger. Yep. Led, dregs. Uh, dregs. Good old Dregs. Yep. He led insider trading uh, last night, the the name yeah. that he led with, with yeah. all the restricted free agents and all the negotiations throughout the NHL, Jeremy Swayman. So I, I agree with you. Yeah. And who would argue with Scoops Keith? Uh, so far, if you did, you'd be wrong. I mean, on hockey, I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't go there. Correct. Uh, he led the the whole thing. So it's a big story, not just it in is. Boston. Yeah. Uh, but it's a big story throughout the NHL. Yeah. And so camp officially begins today because we've been sort of talking about this off and on for a while when we've had different Swayman updates along the way. Is like, all right, well... Camp starts soon, and the same thing with the NBA. It's like the NBA and the NHL season start so much quicker than you f- than you think. Mm-hmm. Like the next thing you know, there's going to be preseason games for both of these teams. So they're back on the ice. They had that captain's practice, however long ago, and Swayman was there for that. This is sort of a, a different animal, and so we'll hear from uh, Sweeney and Jim Montgomery today. And I'm sure they're going to want to talk about the guys who are there, but I would imagine everybody else is going to want to talk about Jeremy Swamin. Yeah, if you believe, uh, you know, some of the reporting out there, they, they could come out today and announce it right at noon. That'd be great. They could. That'd be great. I don't think so, but that'd be great. Or they could come out and say, we're going to talk about the guys that are here and uh, reporting could turn. So an old fashioned scoop off. Scoop off. Something's got to give. Here on WEEI. <whistles> wow, wow, wow. Scoop off time. That's right. Let's All go. right, no deal for Jeremy Swayman, according to Scoops Keefe. Uh, they are not close, according to Scoops Keefe. And the Bruins will not go north of $8 million, mm-hmm. according to Scoops Keefe, mm-hmm. who also reported uh, last month, earlier this month, I forget ago. the timing, a few yep. weeks back, that uh, Jeremy Swayman is asking for, not demanding, <clears throat> asking for. Yeah. It's a negotiation. $10 million. Especially because didn't we hear that the uh, Bruins offered like 6.7? Was that what Spit and Chicklets had? Yep. 6.7? Mm-hmm. All right. So if you want eight or eight and a half, maybe you shoot for a little bit north of There's that. There's a certain negotiating tactic to get there, we uh, which I would agree yep. with. So if you have thoughts on the Bruins and Jeremy Swayman, they report to camp today. As uh, Keith said, we have Don Sweeney and Jim Montgomery speaking shortly after noon. I think we'll check in at the podium. Yes, let's. See what they have to say Yeah, on the program here today. Jones and Keith, a lot of ways you can get in touch. On the phones, of course. Yes, Maybe there'll be egg on my face. Maybe uh, there'll be big old scrambled egg on my face. It, it could happen. It, it could hasn't happen. happened yet. I mean, look. It hasn't happened yet. There's two different ways of looking at this. Yeah. yeah. Either Scoops Keith yep. has just a pristine track record. And, it's 100% hit rate thus far. And you'll never be wrong. No. Or at some point, you just say, well, we were due for one. We were due right. for a trip up. And you got to lean in on. Maybe I was fed a bill of goods. You got yeah. to lean in on the overall record of uh, uh, track record of reporting. Also possible. Uh, but there's a lot of ways to get in touch. And if you want to talk Bruins, get in early. 617-779-7937. Phone lines open for you. Uh, you can also text the show at 37937. Uh, we are going to talk Patriots and Jets. Which team would you rather be? Who do you think's in a better spot going forward? The Jets with their old Kind of crummy quarterback, mm. but a good roster around him, or the Patriots with no roster and no talent, <laughs> but maybe the long term answer at quarterback. Who would you rather be? Uh, it fits in perfectly on a Would You Rather Wednesday. Yes, Here on Jones and Keith, you can interact with the show on Twitter at Jones and Keith, same on Instagram, Jones and Keith. Uh, you can watch on twitch.tv slash Boston WEEI or watch on YouTube. Uh, just subscribe to WEEI. You can view along there. Uh, so a lot to get to here on the show, as promised. Uh, with Swayman, I said this before, Keith. Yeah. If he gets north of eight, he won the negotiation. It's a big win for him. He broke the Bruins. Yeah. And I'm also on record saying I have no problem with it. And In fact, I'm rooting for him in the negotiations. The Bruins, I think, butchered this a long time ago where they took him to arbitration. They wouldn't play him in the postseason. They wouldn't commit to him, even independent of all the contractual stuff. Even last year, you went into the postseason not knowing who was going to start game one, unless you listen to hashtag Scoops Keith. Mm-hmm. Allmark started game two, and if Allmark played well, they would have stuck with that stupid rotation. And so I yeah. think they butchered this a million different ways. They traded Allmark before they had to this offseason. Right. They brought in, arguably, the worst goalie in the league. Statistically, the worst the goalie, worst in, the goalie league. in the league yeah. a year ago. Yeah. Swayman has all the leverage. I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him to win this negotiation against the Bruins. And for all of the the noise you'll hear out there, you can't win with a highly paid goalie. 
Not mm. true. Vasilevsky's won multiple times. Vasilevsky's won multiple won times. last year? Oh, that'd be Sergey Bobrovsky. Does he get paid a lot? One of the most highly compensated okay. goaltenders in the NHL. Now, look. now, he has to play his ass off. Like, that's the thing. It's yes. like, you get this contract. Oh. I think he does. If you, Oh, in, for the no, Bruins? Swayman. Yeah, yeah, for the Bruins. And yeah. for them to win, yes. you can't pay the goalie that much. Just like we say in all sports and some of the, you know, the NFL contracts, you don't regret the contract uh, if the guy plays really well. Yeah. Nobody's like, can you believe what they're paying Patrick Mahomes? It's like, yeah, I can. They should probably pay him more. Yeah, right? he's underpaid. And, and like when Tatum and Brown broke through and won the title, you're not then thinking, oh my God, they're getting $50, $60 million. No, they won the title. That's what they're supposed to do. So if Swayman is going to, uh, you know, if he ends up getting this money, that would be a guy that uh, played it right, you know, cashed in at the right time. But now you're saying going forward, Swayman, McAvoy, Pasternak, all the pressure's on you guys. Everybody else that helps, great. But you're, like, you're going to be the reason they win or lose. Yeah. It's going to come down to those three. And so, look, I mean, Florida's built a great roster around Bobrovsky despite paying Bobrovsky. Yeah. And so he, he really felt like more of a passenger on that team. I, I agree with you. The, the way the Bruins are set up, he needs and to structure. be nailed. But I think he can be. He was last year. Yeah, right. He was last year. They won a round. Like, do we forget the Bruins won a round last year? That's not a cup. But he advanced last season. Right. And I hear all the time, well, he only plays half the time. Yeah. Whose fault is that? That's his fault? I don't think so. I don't think I, he's bagging out of games. I think no. he can do it. No. I don't think the Bruins asked him to do it. Mm-hmm. And maybe this was part of their game all along with Swayman. We're going to bring him along slowly. We're going to split time with Allmark. And that way, when he hits the market, he won't have a leg to stand on. Tough. AAVs are going up throughout the NHL. The salary cap uh, continues to increase year after year after year. And so... I think this is a player who who understands his value. He understands business. He went to business school. <laughs> That's true. He'll let you know about that. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he stands on business. Sure does. And he's committed to getting what he feels he's worth. Now, look, if he tucks tail and signs for like $7 million, well, that's I'm going to say, for Sweeney. I'm gonna say yeah. this was all a bunch of bluster and Swayman. You said you yeah. were committed to it. You're, you're a fraud. You're a phony. Yeah. But if he gets north of eight, I'm going to say he won the negotiation. I'm going to say he took the Bruins to the woodshed. And I'm going to say that the Bruins bungled this thing starting years ago with Jeremy Swayman when they could have got in front of it, and instead they chased it all along, and it's their own fault. They had to bend the knee and pay through the nose for Jeremy Swayman. The other thing that's sort of been tossed out there along the way, and I don't have any info on this, but would the two sides eventually go with like a shorter-term deal? Like, Is it definitely going to be of the seven- or eight-year variety? Good point. Or is it Bridge like contract. a contract? Is it a bridge contract? And we're like, all right, we'll give you more, but we don't want to get sunk in because we also want to, you know, and even though it might be their fault for not playing him the whole time, like they were going with that goalie tandem, uh, which certainly in the regular seasons worked very well. But if they say, we want to see it a little bit more, right? If we want to see like these guys that you're comparing yourself to have won cups, have won Vezinas, and have just been in the league longer, then maybe we want to see it and then we'll do it. But I don't know. And I also am curious about like the bad blood aspect of it too. Like this Swayman... Can he get over it? Like this is this is clearly a hard fought negotiation. When yep. I had mentioned the ten million whatever a month ago, and then it was hilarious because a couple days after that, there were a lot of different scoops. Again, not to you know look down on other scoops, but they were like, ah, uh, deal's a lot closer than people are saying. Yeah, how it is. Yeah, they're just taking a month to like talk about it. Yeah, like, it was, a good month. It's been close for a month. It's Keith. been close for a month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like okay, that doesn't seem to be super accurate. But can Swayman just finally? Even if he gives in a little bit, right? Say he doesn't get every last penny that he wanted, but it's still a good deal. Certainly the richest contract he's ever gotten. Does he put all that behind him? You hope that he does. You hope that these players can say, all right, now let's move on. Or is it like, I got to go somewhere else? That A little bit apples to oranges, but like Matt Judon mm-hmm. didn't get a new contract nope. in Atlanta. But would not have played for what he's playing for in New England. Yeah, sometimes but he's gonna play for that in Atlanta. Sometimes it's easier to do that elsewhere. Not that right. that necessarily applies. to No, Swayman, the same thing but... happened to Chara. Remember, like they told Chara, they're like, "Look, we'll have you back, yeah. but your role is gonna be diminished." And he's like, "Well, what?" And then he went to what Washington, right, and like played out his career there. And just because, look, I I don't want to be the guy that is doing that. So I don't think Swayman's gonna want to take a discount here by any stretch. Okay, a couple of texts, three seven ninety three seven. Uh if you want to jump in on the Bruins, Jeremy Swayman, good old fashioned scoop off here scoop at off. WEEI. Uh guys, he barely beat Toronto in a seven game series. He needed overtime and a bad turnover for the Bruins to win, and he got smoked by Florida. Uh, he didn't get smoked by Florida. The the Bruins got smoked. Uh he played well. Uh who started game two and lost in that? The Toronto series, do you recall? The big Linus. That was Linus. Big Lean. So, I don't know. Maybe if they yeah. just gave him the series to yeah. start, 
they would have finished off Toronto a little bit quicker. What do you think he's worth? Just forget what he wants and forget what the Bruins are willing to give him. What do you think Swayman, just like kind of open market, would be worth per year? Oh, oh on the open market? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was just available to everybody. Yeah, eight and a half, nine. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Nine would make him the fourth. Now, again, Carey Price, I know that's sort of a different thing, but he's still making ten and a half. Bobrovsky's making ten. Vasilevsky's making nine and a half. Yeah, Bobrov- Hellbuck's making eight and okay, a half. Okay, Bobrovsky's a good example. Most of those guys I don't think ever got to market. So, like, Bobrovsky did, and he got 10. Like, uh, like eight and a half, nine million. Something like yeah. that. Bobrovsky had won a Vesna at that point. Had he won two? I forget. I think he had won a Vesna yeah. in Columbus. I may have that wrong. Maybe it was two. It might be two. And so, uh, I, that's a little different. But but if you're telling me he's on the open market and right. there's no restrictions, right. eight and a half, nine yeah. million. Oh, I would, I would so, think so. I, look, I think if there's an eight in front of it or higher, he won the deal. He won the negotiation. Yeah, yeah. And, and by the way, I'm rooting for him. Well, definitely. And I, I think, and that's the thing, like, can... Do they both feel like that's palpable? Like, right, if one's saying, hey, we'll give you 6.7, and the other one wants 10, and then you land on 8, can they both walk away feeling that that's a win? Or no. is there, like, they're both kind of steaming, right? Like, if the gap is that big, yeah, three and a half, four million dollars, whatever the, the gap is, yeah, the, somewhere in the middle isn't uh, ideal, especially when you, you go back to what he had to say about going to arbitration the year before. Like, he's still thinking about that. Chef Boy RD on Twitter. Nice. At Jones, W-E-E-I, at Keith 21. Love and 10 to 2 on W-E-E-I. You're Thank willing you. to talk Bruins. That's right. Where other shows only talk Patriots. Also, who doesn't love a good old-fashioned scoop-off? Scoop-off, man. I think a that's, lot on the line and a scoop-off. I think that's the headline here. Scoop I off. think I think the headline is W-E-E-I? It's your Bruins station. Yeah, I, I, I kind of think that's the headline here. Yep. People are talking to Courtney. People yep. are talking to Keith. Yep. Other people are promising nebulous Bruins news soon-ish. <laughs> soon-ish. Yeah. I'm not sure what that gets you. I think we have pretty uh, firm reporting, yep. even though it's a scoop-off. Uh, people people are uh, they have a stance and they're sticking to it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll hear Sweeney. We'll hear Montgomery shortly afternoon. We'll hear your Bruins thoughts as well all day long here on Jones and Keith. Let's go to Mark in Medford. Get us started today, Mark. What do you got, Mark? Okay, you heard it here first. Swayman's going to sign for $8.25 million. That's what he's going to get. And I'll tell you why you guys are getting the scoops at EEI. Why is that? Because the other two shows, the other two shows in the, in the midday and late afternoon, all they want to do is talk about Patriots and the NFL and football. Okay. It's, well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with talking football. We, we like will talking talk football, football today, well. but we'll talk Bruins. We'll yes. talk Celtics when that season starts. We even talked a lot of Red should, Sox until their season ended last night. Should we throw? <laughs> <laughs> should we throw Mark and Medford into the scoop off? Uh. Sure, yeah, Mark Medford's saying 8.25, because what he's doing is he's taking the 8.5 that's out there, yep. then the 8 that I'm suggesting the Bruins won't hey, go no, higher than. Don't scoop shame, Keith. You just I'm not pro- scoop shame. You just promised you weren't going to scoop shame. I'm not scoop shame. I just, apologize. You're just peeling back the curtain a little bit just on the scoop I'm game. just trying, yeah, I'm just analyzing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a little uh, magnifying glass on, <laughs> onto that scoop. 8.25, but I'm with you. 8.25 would be a win for Swayman. Yes, yeah, hundred percent. Eight or anything, eight or higher, you feel like is a win for him. Okay. I agree with that. I mean, I you want Bruins news? W E I seems like the place. Six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven. Coco bombs. Uh, a Courtney Cox scoop. Scoops Keith is telling you no deal, no deal. Plus, Mark and Medford is giving you the AAV. A lot of scoopage <laughs> right here on Jones and.